What's going on guys? Two in one night? What? As you know, I have a ton of beer in the fridge, so I'm gonna be getting a lot more videos out to you because I need to get through them all. Because as you know, beer is enjoyed fresh ist from the brewery. Unless what you're doing is aging. That's a different story. But we're not doing that today. We're drinking these beers. So this beer in front of me is the Stiltsville Pilsner from Concrete Beach Brewery. We're doing another Concrete Beach beer because I got a six pack from them and I got to finish all these beers. So a little bit about the Stiltsville. It is a Miami inspired Pilsner loaded with citrus hot character. Our opus to the Renegade Village on Stilts in Biscayne Bay where weekend residents celebrate the peace, tranquility and spirit of Stiltsville that will live on for eternity. So, this is actually classified as a German style Pilsner and what we know about German style Pilsners is that it is straw to pale in color with a malty sweetness that can be perceived in aroma and flavor. Perception of hop bitterness is medium to high. Noble type hops, aroma and flavor are moderate and quite obvious in this style of Pilsner. Distinctively different from the Bohemian style Pilsner, the Czech Pilsner, as you know, as you saw in the Pilsner Urkel video that I did a little while back, this title is lighter in color and body and has a lower hop bitterness. So th those are some differences that you should tell between the German style and the Czech style Pilsners. So your typical ABV for a German style Pilsner is 4.6 to 5.3% and the IBUs are around 25 to 40. So this bad boy is actually 5.2% ABV and 25% IBU. So it falls right within those uh, ranges. So, talked about it, it's time to drink it. So as you can see, super correct on the color. It's uh, that straw to, you know, pale gold color. Very nice head retention on this one as well. I've noticed that the beers from Concrete do have really good head retention. So on the scents, you get like a water cracker style scent, like very light. You do get the hops though. The hops are apparent in the nose as well. Wow. So that scent of the water cracker is very, very light, but the, the hops do control on this beer. So it, the, it, it is a more hoppy style Pilsner or, or, you know, pale lager, but you know, this is the difference that you could tell from American lagers. American lagers are a little bit more malt based. This one is very easy to drink. It's very crisp, very refreshing. The hops tickle the back of the tongue. I, I'm not sure what hops they use, but I'll try to get that information out for you. And as you already know, I did a Concrete Beach biography before. So I will link that in the description so you guys can check that out. And to me, if I was going to be, so this is a super easy slammable beer. It's very sessionable. You can have a couple of them back, like back to back, no problem whatsoever. I would probably pair this, you know, to play with those hops, something crisp, something refreshing, maybe like a ceviche or a nice fish. I, I, I probably lean more on the seafood side for this one. And, or, or maybe add a little spice to it. Cause you know, hops do raise the intensity of the heat. I had made that mistake once before and I will never forget it. So this is very crisp, very refreshing. And what I'm going to do is finish this beer. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. You don't understand how much I appreciate it. I hope you continue to tune in and I hope you like, share, subscribe, and let your friends know what we're doing here and all the beers we're trying and all the adventures we're going on. And I also hope that 
you guys continue to tune in. But before we go, you know, I'd like to give love to you guys that tuned in today. Of course, my lovely wife always tuning in. What's up, Beat Culture? Thanks for tuning in, guys. We got the, the Florida Beer Buds. What's up, dudes? Oh, we got the Folks Beer Brewery. You know, you know how much I love those guys. <laughs> we got my friend from the north, or he's in LA now. What's up, AJ? We got Sol de Bira, 19. And we got Silver HR, who is a brewery that is coming very soon to a Kendall near me. So guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic night. And I hope you tune in tomorrow. See what other beers we're drinking. Till the next time. Cheers.